Uh, and this is what we call a slow slip type of movement. And so the Wanda Fuca plate is moving uh, underneath us a lot. And then all of a sudden, about every 14 months, it stops and it goes in a westerly direction. Uh, and as it does that, then it creates a lot of these uh, tremors that are on. So we are in one of these slow slip type of movements right now. And that's why we're getting a lot of tremors up in Washington, Northern California, and then some here in Oregon. It is a slow slip. Uh, and, and about every 14 months this happens. And then eventually, then the Juan de Fuca plate will continue going in an easterly direction and keep going down building, uh, building up the, the stress that is in the rocks. We feel that in the future when the big one occurs, it will probably occur during one of these slow slip events where everything goes back uh, uh, or stops moving. Uh, and, but what it's doing is it's putting additional stress on to the lock zone that you have. So uh, every 14 months we get more and more of this uh, stress on there. Uh, and then eventually, on the average every 500 years, it will break. Southern margin is more active down here. It's every 250 years, whereas the whole thing breaking is about every 500 years. And so it's just a reminder that we should make sure that we have our earthquake kits prepared at home. We have water, food, uh, et cetera, prepared because we will probably go into a camping mode for one to two to three weeks as we recover from this particular type of event. So, so what's going on right now? Slow slip movement. The Juan de Fuca plate is moving back in the opposite direction for a short period of time. Then it will continue going in an easterly direction and creating all of these tremors. The major lock zones that we have are really up here in the uh, Seattle area and then down here in Northern California. We're kind of intermediate between them. The slow slip phenomena started in the Kitsap uh, Peninsula just south of of Seattle, then went up into British Columbia, and now it started to move back down into Oregon. That's why we are starting to get some of the tremors right now. So that, in a nutshell, is what's going on.